Greetings, y'all. Ohio Gun Lawyer here coming to you from Munitions Law Group, munitionsgroup.com. We are a national gun law practice doing anything soup to nuts in the gun industry. Please look us up. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about something that was brought up to me. It's been brought up a few times and kind of the current status of the National Firearms Act transfers and the trusts and all that. Um, actually, how I got my start in the gun practice was largely to uh, the NFA, and then I was one of the first attorneys in the state of Ohio to start doing trusts. And I've uh, been doing it for many, many years, and, and that has elevated now to a practice that where we do, we do very sophisticated type of trust planning for very uh, large gun collections now. However, the trust is still a valuable tool uh, for NFA items, even though the regs have changed, and it's no longer necessary to do a trust simply to avoid the sheriff's requirements required signature. It's no longer required for him to sign off. Um, so we don't see as many, um, I guess, uh, inexpensive trusts as, as, you, as you used to see. You can see the market has exploded with all these companies doing $99 trusts. Um, first off, I would say anytime you don't use an attorney to do a legal document, I would be very wary. Second off, I would say there is still a value to, to the trust. Uh, there's a larger estate planning issue at, at hand that the consumer needs to address. Um, what I oftentimes see is when people die with firearms in their, in their possession or in their control that are NFA regulated and they don't have it in a trust, it becomes a very complicated, oftentimes an expensive process to the probate court. Um, it gets locked up in court. If the attorney who's doing the case doesn't know anything about the NFA, they may transfer that firearm not even knowing it's actually a registered item. That happens. Um, with that said, I work on a lot of probate cases. I consult on cases when there's NFA firearms in it to try and make sure the firearms get to the correct people and in the correct manner and are disposed of in the correct way. Um, so I do believe that the estate planning uh, focus has always been the goal, in our office at least, of, of forming an, a, a firearms trust. And aside from the NFA, we do trust for a variety of other uh, firearm issues uh, from Title II uh, and Title I firearms, to just large collection issues, uh, issues regarding possession of children, not being able to possess firearms because they're mentally incompetent or have some sort of disability. Um, so just keep those issues in mind when you're thinking about this. Currently, we're seeing a wait time. Uh, Curtis, what's about, have you submitted anything recently? About 11 months. About 11 months. I submitted something back in December. They said eight months back then. I've called recently. They're telling me 11 months. So uh, let's just assume a year, all right? Just throw it in there. Say it's going to be about a year before you'll see your suppressors uh, or silencers, whatever you decide to call them, uh, and SBRs and machine guns. <clears throat> Uh, with that said, I had an interesting question come up. Curtis actually posed this to me, and he, he uh, asked me, well, can you sell a trust? It's an interesting question. I can't give you an exact answer today. It's really a trust question, more so than an NFA question. Um, if you put your items into a business, you can sell the business. That's pretty simple. Selling a business happens every day. Um, the question really becomes is, can you remove a settlor from a trust, the person that creates the trust? Um, I've looked at this, I've talked to other counsel on this, I've had to do it for clients when they get divorced from their loved one, uh, their spouse, who was on as a co-settlor, and the court requires them to be removed. Um, so I do believe it is possible to remove a settlor, and if it's possible to remove a settlor, presumably you could add a settlor. Uh, I do believe a settlor could assign their rights to somebody. So if, if it's something you're looking to do, sell an entire collection as a trust, Please call us, I'd love to look into it for you and uh, we would ensure that it is legitimate before we do it and advise you along the way. Um, but uh, uh, it's a very interesting issue. So as always, if you guys have any questions, never feel free to drop a comment, please call us, send us an email. If you want us to address a question on, on our channel, we'll be more than happy to do that. Uh, we don't put priority on the questions, so we, we, we aggregate all the questions together and we, we put them into compartments and, and try to answer them in the appropriate order for our marketing purposes, but we do try to get to each and every question. That's getting harder and harder to do as I get more and more followers. Please share this channel, post it on Facebook, post it on your friends, drop it in an email, download it to a flash drive and send it to your grandpa. Whatever you need to do, get the information out there so we can help the community together. Uh, as always, be safe out there, y'all, and carry on.